When Sir Geoffrey had taken Thornton, no one had batted an eye. It was a title he had long coveted. He had made so many petitions when his father was a fit and healthy man, each time rejected and ignored. Each time for a different reason. He wasn't old enough. He wasn't a true blood. His father would find him another title. For a man who claimed to love both sons, it always irked Joffrey that only one beloved boy was granted titles all of his own. Lord Arlen had turned Poddingfield into a wealthy place. He had grown a small army of his own and kept loyal to his father, even if he never saw him. While Arlen was out ruling, Joffrey was by his father's bedside, a reclusive man who preferred the company of a dying and capable old man than his new wife and young son. His son was growing up to be less like his father and grandfather and more like the Mad King, marrying of incest and pursuing titles all of his own. He was now Joffrey's heir, but he was too mad to rule a farm, let alone a lordship. Yet each day, Giles grew sicker and sicker, more alone in his bed. There are many who dispute the claim that Joffrey was legitimized in the first place, Arlen the lead amongst them. For Sir Joffrey was the only man who seemed to be able to get the old man to speak, the only one by his bed. Many claimed he'd merely corrupted his father into naming him as such, and naming him regent in the same time span. It was all absurd. The king had not granted this legitimacy, and why should the realm respect it? As the days grew longer and Lord Giles grew older, people grew more and more worried about his mind, about his prowess. It soon became clear to Arlen, the only way to root the viper from his father's house was with the blade. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones, where we are once again playing as House Steed of the Summerfields, currently led by, very true to his name, Lord Giles the Old, who now finds himself 70 years old, with the unfortunate situation of his newly made heir, Sir Joffrey, becoming an older man himself, suffering with illness, but plenty of children to possibly follow him, perhaps Theo Steed may do so. But, none, but the legitimization of Sir Joffrey has surely put pressure on Lord Arlen, the original heir, the daughter, else the son, sorry, of Lord Sunel, who had uh, children of his own, including uh, young Michael here, a very, very talented young child who has been essentially refused his title and forced to remain in Poddingfield. Still only a boy. We'll have to see how his life continues. I am expecting... Lord Giles to die any day now, so we will have to see how that goes. He is currently infirm as well, if I'm correct. Yes, he's infirm, so his health is certainly not great. Uh, as it stands, the Stormlands are currently at war as they fight against uh, the, I believe it is Pentos, yes, Pentos, who are trying to reclaim Tirosh's land of uh, Tirosh and Little Tiroshi, which uh, were claimed uh, in the original conquest. We can also see that, uh, and there has been an upgrade for uh, Stefan, who has now been made the Lord Paramount of the Stepstones. No longer just a Duke. He is now a Lord Paramount. So the uh, Baratheons hold three Lord Paramountcies. A uh, very, very sort of big honour, to be sure. I believe four, actually. Yes, four, because of the uh, Stefan as well. So three Lord Paramountcies and the Iron Throne itself. So the Baratheons have had great power. And it seems, you know, he's obviously doing a bit of expanding here as well. But if we lose these lands into Rosh... Things may not go as well for us. Oh, I have a, a plot to kill the Lord of Griffin's Roost, Ronald III. I'm not a man to kill. I'm ruthless, but I, I don't kill in that sort of way. Uh, I don't want a favour from you. I will, I will check. How is the council voting on this? Um... Everyone seems in favour of it, so I'll approve it as well. I'm not completely loyal to Boris. I, how Boris has acted is, is of great concern to me. But I also don't see a need to push myself badly. Look at this. Michael is growing more and more 
into a bright young lad. He he himself is is worthy of, of the title of Lord, so it does feel wrong to have denied him that. And I'm sure I mean, there may be questions in the future from Poddingfield. He will he will have a claim on this title too. I see how he's doing. He seems like he is going to be sending his army, surely. And now there is a civil war against the Lord of Rathrock. Oh, he, it's a civil war for this guy specifically. Lord Aelin II. Uh, one of the men who's loyal to Lord Willis. How is Lord... Uh, sorry, uh, Willem. How is Lord Willem doing at the moment? The boar? He's picking up a decent-sized army again. 9k. But just it's still half of Lord Boris's army. You fear Steed wants Formton. Mm. I know he's a kinsman, but I didn't give one to Joffrey. I'm not going to give one to him. For Formton is still such an important title. I'm not rich enough to be able to give castles to every kinsman like i know in your game of thrones regardless you don't you know you you only really have one title so it, it does somewhat make sense it looks like this war here will end quickly it looks like pentos is gonna lose here to um uh is gonna lose to boris so is it him who declared this war no, it's Magister Gowan's claim. No, he, so he did declare the war. So he wants to give Magister Gowan the Taroshi Landing. So this province here is what they're fighting over. So he wants to be the 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 man on the in the uh, Seven Kingdoms to have a uh, lands elsewhere. But he is he he has having Rainwood seized down. This could be a time to swoop in with a decent sized army and cause some damage. I'm actually going to do that. I'm not loyal, but I don't want to see Stormlander people captured in this war. <laughs> uh, some apologies if I sound a little um, a little more gravelly. I don't think I do, but I've been told by a couple of people I sound a little more. Uh, I have a bit of a, uh, not a cold, uh, a bit of a throat infection at the moment, but it will hopefully pass. So I'm sure in the uh, other CK2 series I'm working on, you will also hear that gravelly throat. And you may also hear it in the um, uh CK3 series, so my apologies for that. This is the uh, the sort of last one I'm, I'm filming of these, and uh, it's already being treated now. But I'm already feeling a lot better. Let's land on Rainwood. Are oh, they going to try and escape to Amberley? Ah, Marital Bliss. What's the problem here? I could lose... Um, diligent, but have a ch or have a chance of getting stressed. Okay, I did not gain stressed. Very good. Let's try and intercept them here in Amberley. It seems like the other commander may have left to me. Oh, and I need a treasurer as well. What is my other commander? Oh, he is still here. I guess he just doesn't want to come out and join this army for some reason. He is a commander. I, I, I'm not sure why that is. Then. Okay, now he now there's nowhere he can go, and we have him in Rainwood. That's a significant bit of damage, and we should be able to follow this army, as there's nowhere it can actually retreat to. I think we can catch them in Gaelmont. I'm not sure what they will actually uh, sort of be retrieved. So Michael is a flamboyant schemer. Interesting. Is he trying to escape to Felwood? I'm not sure which province. Uh, maybe it would specifically be Greenswood would be what would he would consider to be a reset province. My son-in-law, Lord Stefan of the Stepstones, has died. Meaning that Lord Paramount Joy of the Stepstones, my granddaughter, is now the Lord Paramount of the Stepstones. Well, 
I suppose, in, in a way, a steed is, is, or at least steed blood is, is on the throne. Though, of course, there is no steed bloodline, so she is just a Baratheon. But it is indeed my dan my granddaughter through Eleanor, my uh, eldest daughter. Or is she my second eldest? Is Shira older? Shira is older. So my, uh, my youngest daughter, rather. Well, already there's an elevation in the steed's name, I'm sure. Uh, if he's if he's much at the King's Landing, we'll leave him. Can't cause much damage. We sort of like scared him out of these lands anyway. This is what should be done soon. Very unfortunate. He died very young, thirty-seven years old. But it's, he died in battle apparently against Lord Quentin of Prince's Pass. Prince's Pass being uh, yes, this region over here in Dawn, who is fighting Lord William the Boar for Lord Dennis's claim on the Stormlands. Who is Lord Dennis? His son? His brother? This is a very interesting war nonetheless. It's against Princess Helia. Dawn has already lost, uh, has already defeated the Baratheons once, and this is a significantly smaller Baratheon force here. So I'm not sure how they think this is going to work. Lord Dennis's claim. Lord Dennis must be one of his brothers. I just... No. Oh, here he is. Lord Dennis of the Stormlands. Seems like they want to have another Baratheon Lord Paramountcy, but I I would be surprised if this one works at all. Uh, it seems like we have finally moved on from being infirm and do not have much longer left within us. And our young boy Joffrey shall take over as our... Um... I can't pick any, can I? Because I'm infirm. Yes, I'm incapable, rather. My my son is now the regent. Uh, hopefully he is able to heal his own sicknesses as it stands. Nonetheless, 72. Very old age. Could still continue to live longer, of course. But in, being incapable is not much of a life to live regardless. Uh, and winter is coming. Which will only exacerbate the problems. Let's see. Uh... Okay, my, my son has placed Shira back on the council. Shira, Shira served me faithfully on the council, but it does mean that Sir Ronald here is no longer on the council. Uh, we'll make him a bodyguard again. Protect my, my bedside chamber. Ah, uh, and here we go. Sir Joffrey has decided that Thornton should be granted to him specifically. Very interesting, uh decision here. And I'm, I'm certain. Truly infinite wisdom that uh, Joffrey would decide to take capable use of his sick father. Master Benefit has botched the treatment of my son, Joffrey's disease. Joffrey's now even worse than before, clinging to life. I'll try and talk some sense to him. He takes this title and now grows sickly, sicklier and sicklier because of it. Ill treatment. Perhaps he took the title more for fear than for himself. And uh, Hannah, my granddaughter, needs a focus. Um, diplomatic should work. My other granddaughter is in hiding because they are at war. What is this war for exactly? Let me have a look. So this war is direct, being fought against it directly. Is the disputed la lands slave raid. Okay, I don't think that takes any land, but I think it does take a lot of money, uh, slave ranks. Dawn is trying to seize uh, Ironwood here. Very, very uh, wealthy lands, Ironwood. And he's forced his brother to join his factions. I worry what these factions may be. In fact, am I able to see any of them? He, he is leading a faction to depose me. I'm a sick... I'm a sickly... Poor man, and he wishes to depose me. How sad. Is that Lord, uh, my knight just had a son? I believe it was, if we take a look at my court. For Sir Ronald. He indeed married, and he has had a son, Orson uh, Scour. A bright young lad, for sure. But to think, all of the... To grant Thornton, uh, to grant Joffrey 
the name Steed in the first place, and it seems now it may be being used against us. Very powerful faction as well. I can only ask him to stop backing, backing Theo's plot. Hmm. Is there nothing I can do? I suppose this is incapable. There's not what I can do. Your reign of misrule must come to an end immediately. I have no choice. It is sad... And we'll ignore the fact that it says Stepstones, that is a game's glitch. And unfortunately, my father is incapable in his old age. Could barely think, could barely move. He may as well just be a corpse. <laughs> in fact, being comatose may have been better. But now, Lord Joffrey takes the lands of the Summer Stables and shall move the capital to his own taken lands in Thornton. Uh, I believe this is the I have to pay my father's debt one, uh, which we have the money to pay, so we will pay off that debt. How are things going in the Reach War, then? Paramount Mathos II in his uh, war against the Tyrion the King. It, I mean, we saw at the end of last session, I, I said that it would probably be a wash of a war, and it is looking like a wash of a war. Yeah, the war score's already in the favour of, um... The Westerlands! What has happened? It seems the Westerlands... Oh, yes, because his mother was Lady Jane of the Trident. So did Lady Jane... So he died, and it seems like his heir must have been through Lady Jane. And as such, the Westerlands are now also the Lords of the Trident. That is something indeed, and the veil still holds Harrenhal. This is a very border gore map. This is what you get from Game of Thrones. <laughs> but yes, the, the Westerlands has inherited the Trident. This will certainly make them possibly more powerful than the Reach, for now they have the money and the people. <laughs> we'll certainly be interested to see how that goes. Well, I turn away for one second from this war. <laughs> The Baratheons have taken yet another Lord Paramountcy. As in how they are also the Lord Paramounts of Dawn. And he has changed his um, uh, flag and his regalia uh, as the daughter of Ariane Martell to show that he is both Martell and Baratheon. And now Prince Dennis of Dawn rules. We have Boris in the Stormlands, Stefan in Dragonstone, and my, uh, grand oh, my uh, technically, I guess, niece now. Paramount Joy Baratheon. So that is four Lord Paramountcies, and of course the Iron Throne is Baratheon. This is a lot of power that the Baratheons have been granted here. Is this reach for it's not going well? My the vassals of Summerfield now view me with respect. Ah, uh, my fatigue grows from my cancer, however. Not a very pious, a very unpious man, in fact. Lord Lucas Upcliffe demanded a trial by combat. He slayed his opponents to prove his innocence. And a headache. Here we go. My systems get worse and worse. And victory for the Stormlands sees, uh... Taroshi Landing now fall under the um, Duke of Tarosh. And my father, at the age of 73, has finally succumbed to his ailments and passed away. Sir Gauzy Old will undoubtedly be remembered, but perhaps Sir Lord Joffrey may have acted f cruel in his final years. And we now have the flu on top of our cancer. So is that the... So the Lordship of Dragster, that seems more like the Hightower flag, isn't it? Is this... Yes, because he's the daughter of Lyness Hightower. So we have a Hightower Baratheon, a Martell Baratheon, and a Steed Baratheon here. But I, I see there's no flag ability for Steed. Hmm. 
My granddad has forced my, me to sell my hands in this matter. But unless you swear not to form new factions conspiring against me. Hmm. Yeah, I will comply. I don't. I don't. Perhaps I may be more willing to work with uh, Lord Boris. There are quite a few weak lords here that could do with uh, that could be captured by these stepstones. But it, these lands being owned by the Stormlands rather than the stepstones does make the stepstones far weaker than they should be. But they will, I believe, have basically a permanent claim on these lands. So could see. Plenty of Baratheon v. Baratheon walls here. And I will be surprised if the Baratheons can hold this for long. Though we already seen that Dennis does not have any children. Though he is young, so obviously he has time. Goodness me. Dawn and Stormlands, owned by the same house. That The Baratheons basically have a chokehold. They can push whatever they wish at this point now. We will go for... Stupid ship. Hmm. If I remember right, originally the Trident was also on the Reacher's side in this war. But I suppose the Trident being sort of knocked out of the war has meant that they are sort of left alone here. Yeah, it's now 28% in the King's favour. He's a young man, Mathos. But he has a Regent. Oh, because he's in hiding. Are they sieging down Highgarden? They are. I'm in command. Are we at war? We are. Another peasant's revolt. What army am I commanding? These random 77 troops over here? I might just uh, not be leading that army, please. Uh, yes, you may, you may become a maester. It was a peasant's revolt for Rexstone. Sort of the connecting tissue between the two Stepstone lords. I do wonder if... Um, sorry, I forgot that this is the capital now. Rainwood is the bloody capital now. Isn't that weird? That uh, if he were to pass, it will he... Because he has currently two daughters who could inherit. No, sorry, his brother is his heir. Oh, because he... Ch I forgot, yes, last session he changed the law to make it so only males can, an heir, can inherit. So his brother is his heir, so Storm's End could become the capital again if Boris dies at a young age. Um, but I do wonder if eventually the Stormlands, these parts of the Septons may be slipped, uh, given away. If I were to kill him... Who knows? It could be purple. I name you a pretender. Lord Arlen of Poddingfield is the true ruler of the Summerfield. As recognised by myself and other nobles. Relinquish the title or there will be war. I will not be blackmailed by you. My lord, news from the area of a great trial of court. Lady Crane was imprisoned by Lord Aaron. Okay. Get the armies ready. I will not be questioned in this manner. You dare question the guidance of Lord Giles? You say his word in naming me legitimate was not true? Who needs a words of the false king? The, the, the words of the king does not matter to me. He does not name me. I do not care for tradition. Let us kill these bastards. Let us have Ronald lead the army. And Hoster shall join, of course. But, you know, I will take command once more. I will lead these armies. Hoster does not need to. I shall take the middle, and Joffrey shall take the... F and, uh, Ronald shall take the flank. Let's kill these bastards in Poddingfield before their foolish friends in Grandview can even reach them. This looks like it will be a victory for us. Indeed, it is. And now we will try and catch the other armies before they, this army can fix. Fuck you, go to the oublet, bro. <laughs> How dare you. All these people questioning my sovereignty and my reign. These lands belong to me and to my son. Ah, and a new grandson for me. I should name them Robin. A mighty name.
Ooh. He, the maester has picked up, uh... I'm not sure what that actually means. Okay, he's a maester. I don't know why it adds something to his treasury. I don't know if that's like a game mechanic thing. We shall march through some hall to surprise them in the reach. These fools should have remembered who they're fighting against. I fought alongside my father for years. And look at that, I grow healthier by the day. It was foolish to ever fight me. Shall take them in broad, broad arch. Ronald and Joffrey are all it takes to win these battles. Impossible. Oh, an early blunder in that battle may have caused some problems. Matters not. Are there any mercenaries that I can command? Mm. None of note. Don't know what's going on with Night Song here. Okay, he's just randomly joined the that the King's War, so he's become independent. Okay. <laughs> Let's take Poddingfield. Ah, no, the fool should try and protect it. Maybe it's best we take out his ally then. Go on, ruin your father's house. I'm sure that'll help your legitimacy. The summer stables mean nothing to me. Build some barracks in the uh, true capital of Thornton. We shall seize Grandview from House Grandison. They are unloyal to our demands, and they shall lose their titles for it. And now the Baratheons are at war. He's trying to liberate a captive from the king. What captive could he possibly be seeking? Nonetheless, Bar the Baratheons are now at war. King against brother. Or against, I guess, a uh, cousin, I think, would be the, the relation here. That matters not to me. Ah, oh, excellent. I don't care if raiders kill some Grandison men. And the Grandisons are not house steeds. They are lucky to even be part of the summer fields in the first place. We are losing quickly our cash reserves here. I shall make sure that my brother shall be punished harshly with his own coin to pay for what I have lost. He's, he is literally destroying all of my all of his father's hard work. He just destroyed everything in the summer stables. You bastard. Imprison the entire family in our dungeons. We will not let them take Thornton. We will be fine. We can take them. Come on, you bastard. Damn him. If he takes Thornton, this has lost. I cannot let him take Thornton. Can I marry one of my bastard children away? Or the one who fucking died? No, they marry fools. All of them. No one of note. He... Did... Did Theo marry... His aunt? His aunt? I... Uh... He married his aunt. Yeah. This family's fucked. <laughs> Maybe I deserve to lose. I've got incestuous grandchildren. I, I will not let them take this. I will not let them take Thornton one more time. One final battle. If I can kill him in battle, this ends. It matters not. We have a morale to help us. All we need to do is find him in battle and kill him, and this will be won. His claim will be gone. That's what they will take. Come on. Face me in battle. 
Although I'm apparently not in battle. I am assume, yeah, I'm in one of his armies. Oh, oh, fuck. It's because I'm a commander. <laughs> the mounts of the clans are no bother to me. Nonetheless, I will surrender in terms of the fact that there is no longer an army worth fighting. It seems my prisoner, Lord Joffrey Steed, is complaining of his dark sail. I shall be merciful, as he is my half bastard brother, not my true brother. He should be granted as such. And we shall move the title back to where it should rightfully be. Thornton was never our home. Summer Hall and the Summer Stables are the only rightful titles that should rule the Summer Fields. And here we are, Lord Arlen, an older man as well. But more importantly, we have restored the rights of Sir Michael. Michael now being able to uh, possibly inherit one day. A quick and a decent fighter of a boy. Not the most intelligent, but intelligent enough. And we shall train our grandson on thrift. And of course, as we learned, his son is... <laughs> I did not even know that Theo had married his aunt, and that is just weird. We stand in a very interested, interesting situation now. The Reach is soon to fall. Uh, the Westerlands is uh, very, very big, but it seems like they are already losing parts, unless it's because of the war. Okay, it seems like it's because of the war. I'm sure they'll be patched back up after it then. But more lands taken than Pentos here. Central Stepstones of a uh, a decent size as well. Lord lays in the Western Stepstones is independent though, so it looks like he's losing lands here, Boris. He's already lost two of the titles he took. He's, he's lost Sunstone and um, the Dark Den. Not good. Not good for him. He needs to try and reclaim them. Although the Dark Den, I believe, technically wasn't his. They just swore fealty to him. Has he lost Dwarfstone? He's also lost Dwarfstone as well, yeah. So he only holds two titles on the Stepstone still. However, that could be... Uh, he still loans these lands in Tarosh. Now, it could be a reason for uh, the Lord Paramount of the Stepstones, our granddaughter... Uh, sorry, our niece, to try and reclaim these titles. Although we're in an awkward situation where her heir is Lord Willem the Boar. And his heir is Lord Willem the Boar. So all of it could become Stormlands eventually if... Uh... Inheritance goes interesting ways. And now the Master at Arms, so I need a new ambition. My ambition will be to build a war chest. What war does he currently fight? He does not fight anymore. Excellent. He still holds his claim on Dorm as well. Interesting. Imagine he still has a treaty, though. No, he does not have a treaty with Dawn anymore. Interesting. So Artson has been a lean and able servant, having successfully committed many tasks in the summer field. Um, have a pittance of gold. Uh, we are going to need to rebuild the summer stables, as during the war it did sadly get a bit, a bit ruined. Uh, and we will build back up his defences. Very important to get those defences going. And... Uh, let's build up some farms in Poddingfield as well. I expect the Reach will fall anytime soon now. High Garden's already fallen. In fact, what uh, what percentage are we looking at here? There we go. Poddingfield has been given to Lord Gas, my son. Lord Gas is uh, my second son. Uh, he is not set to inherit the main titles. But giving him Poddingfield will, I don't know, give him something to fucking do. Give him a chance to stop bothering me. Lord Ireland doesn't want to make the same mistakes that Lord Giles did. Lord Giles has probably coaxed this ambition out of the bastard Joffrey by constantly dangling Thornton over him with a rope. So sating his son with uh, giving the title of Poddingfield should give a complete clear way for Sir Michael to inherit the summer stables peacefully. And it barely uh, puts a dent in our actual finances. So I don't have much of a problem with it. Uh, for me, in terms of the story, I just think that makes sense. And it looks like the Iron Throne has indeed absorbed Dawn. In fact, 
Did he directly absorb Dawn? He has directly absorbed Dawn. He has deposed the Martells. Oh, sorry, not the Martells, the Tyrells. Well, <laughs> that is interesting. Clement, after my job as Master of Arms. I'm a better Master of Arms than him. I'll help him, but I'll keep an eye on him. And still, Dawn is doing fine. Still no heir for Dawn, though. So, again, Lord Willem is also his heir in Dawn. So, Lord Willem basically could inherit all of this entire region. Uh, Yes, my son would be a great commander. Let's make him a commander. Or well, Paramount Stefan is still independent. Uh, it's because he's at war, right? Yes, he's at war over... Okay, that war's over, so he'll probably reabsorb soon. Is this... Yeah, we just have this random bit owned by Dragonstone here. Very weird. But once more, the, the Iron Throne is united, but <laughs> there is no Lord of the Reach anymore. The Lord of the Reach now belongs to the Iron Throne. And my mother has died at 76 years old. My son Michael is known as the Twitchy. And he has a son of his own. Interesting. Yeah, look, look, this is a cursed dawn. This isn't, but look at this veil in Wessel. This is even more cursed. Maybe if this belonged to, um, if this belonged to the Westerlands, it would be less cursed. But Highgarden being veil here looks very weird. It's the most powerful Westerlands we've seen, all ruled by a, a young boy, Tywin the Second. He is the great grandson. Yeah, the great grandson of Tywin. <laughs> I do want to begin anew with a new plan. This plan being an old plan of taking Blackhaven. I think Blackhaven is just a perfect port for us to try and siege. And right now it is looking quite weak. Um, but we're not looking great either. We only have 1.8k. So we are also going to need to start uh, training back up our troops in the summer stables. And we're going to collect taxes too. Try and get both of those up and going. This man has arrived at my court. He is a very good marshal, but he's a terrible at combat. Interesting. I've sent a letter to my Lord Boris telling him, hey, I fixed some stuff up for you, big man. A daughter has been born to Sir Arston the Bastard of Poddingfield, who is the son of Sir Roland Corbury. Interesting. So my master at arms has a son, basically. Sir Theodore of the city of Old Town has provided me with proof. Proof that has been viciously slandering me. How do I use this information? I will denounce him. Fuck you. Night Song is once more returned to... Uh, being under the realm. Night Song's a very interesting position. Uh, being here with the Prince's Pass. It could be a direction we also take if we wanted to take these titles. So Arson has some new ideas. Interesting. So you are currently at war for the War of Oakmont Independence. Yeah, I don't think they're going to get that. And a slave raid on the stepstones. Is this the same one? Or is this a new one? Seems like a new one to me. Am I able to ally her as my niece? I don't think niece is a strong enough connection, right? No, it is. Okay, we'll form an alliance with the Lord Paramountcy of the stepstones then. Very strong ally to have. And I don't mind uh, possibly helping her grow some strength. She is a steed after all. A Baratheon steed, but... You know. I would have loved it if uh, Lord Giles created a bloodline of his own, but maybe a steed will one day create a bloodline. There are many steed there are many uh opportunities forward. 
we'll have a look at this in a second. I think that's her calling me into the wall she's currently in. Uh, we'll make my son Michael my spy master. And I do not currently have a maester. Okay. Yes, we shall join your... your. Okay, you're in quite a lot of wars, huh? They are all slave raids. Goodness me. Well, I'm going to stay here because I might actually draw them to land on the Stormlands by being an ally, which would actually be very helpful. Do you only have 1,000? Only 760 troops, but they've been completely drained of troops there. Very unfortunate. Shame about her father, too. Her father seemed like a very capable ruler. But he died very young. Mother's still alive, currently in... Wow, in Thornton. I think I I want to keep Joffrey in prison for what he's done. I I blame him for the the state of uh father in later years, and for this uh alone, he shall remain in there. But Theo is welcome to be free and eventually take over this title once more, even if he's a stark raising fucking lunatic who's married to his aunt. But who isn't nowadays? The Lannisters are sieging the Vale. What's happening here? He's fighting the Vale for Harrenhal. Oh, he's trying to fix the border. Chad. Thank you, Tywood, for trying to fix the border. We love you. And he's also in the same slave war against Volantis. Sept on Serwin wishes to join. Um, it would cost me 20 gold. You're welcome to join us. You seem very capable. And I need a Mesa and you can... Okay, he can't be a maester. I thought septums could be maesters. Oh, seems like the Reach... Has it been given back to... No! We have new Lords of the Reach and it is Old Town. But the city of Old Town remains independent. No, okay, they are not independent. They are, un they are under the Reach. It was just a ring of war then. Well, here we go. A new Lord of the Reach. The Old Town. The uh, High Towers in Old Town are now the new Lords of the Reach. Yeah, I... Should have seen this was coming. The Tyrells are not going to be happy with this. The Tyrells are trying to take back their title battle. Looks a bit. Yes, they are. They are trying to take back their high tower. Is he actually called the Red Tower? That is such a cool name for a high tower to be called the Red Tower. I love like the names when they're like that. So we have the Martells trying to take back, uh, have a war of tyranny against uh, their new overlords. Should be very interested to see where all of these wars are going. I uh, had a little crash there, so I'm not sure how far back we've gone. But what I was taking a look at is the fact that Willem is still the heir of Renly, despite Renly having a son. Which is leading me to question what succession law has been put in place. Ah, oh, my wife is sick. Let's obligate the vassal. Very good. I mean, I could march my armies up, but I my armies need time to recover here. Especially if I also want to take on Blackhaven. Who Blackhaven literally seems to just have the exact same size army as me, is the problem. <laughs> like, literally an identical sized army. Uh, let's get the stables. We need stables and the summer stables. It's in the name, after all. I don't think this is going to go well for um, the Tyrells. I'd be very surprised if they get a victory here. There and now there is another peasant revolt. Constant peasant revolts. Looking like lots of success going on here for um uh our our uh, niece. Can we get an alliance with my son? Okay, it's because I'm his leader, I can't. There you go, one, one war one. Move on to the next. Oh, goodness, what is it with the steeds and getting ill, huh? I mean, to be fair, we are all quite old. We're at 50s and 70s, our last couple of rulers. We've not... If I mean, if Ireland doesn't last long, we will have a young ruler finally uh, in Sir Mike, uh, Mikel. First <laughs> first young ruler in many, many episodes. But I want, I want to have some time with Lord Ireland. This still no children for Prince Dennis, meaning Willis is also set to inherit there. And I'm vomiting too, Jesus. And there is no, not even a. Are we able to an arranged marriage for you? 
Are you refusing marriage or something? What's the situation here? Is, is it because you're in hiding we can't? She is a lunatic. So I don't know if that plays a part in it. But maybe if we arrange betrothal? No. Goodness, both brothers have had cancer. My life is in your hands. And he made things worse. Goodness me. Well, the Reach seems like peace has been restored in the Reach. The High Towers are going to maintain their control here from Old Town. Because Lady Joanna of the Reach has grayscale. Oh dear. And the 16 married to a 14 year old. Mace the second. Mace Hightower. <laughs> the Westerlands seem like they are doing very well in their war against the Vale currently to try and reclaim Harrenhal. Actually, no. Looking at these sieges here, this could be very balanced. It's in the favour of Lord Benfrey, which would be you. Yes, you're Lord Benfrey. Yes, Lord Benfrey has 41% war score here. Interesting. Seems like the Vale's going to pick up a victory over the Westerlands. Honestly, if the Vale could get the Trident, that would be a big turnaround in their fortunes. Uh, we'll pay back our loan. So many loan repayments this episode. And as soon as we pay off the loan, we have died of cancer. And we will... Uh, how much gold do we have? 65. The vassals shall be invited. Well... I had no time to do much roleplay with Sir Arlen, uh, with Lord Arlen. However, that is kind of how um, things go sometimes in, in games like this, where we just don't get the opportunity to play with these characters because they pass away. Uh, however, I think next episode is going to be the start of something new. Might have quite a long uh, post about everything that's happened for that one. But we have a new Lord. Not even Sir Arlen anymore. Not Sir Joffrey. Both of them had fallen. Lord Michael the Twitchy is now the Lord of Summerfield. And you have to wonder how much influence did his grandfather have in him. His grandfather did train him with the blade. He trained him as a fighter. He tutored him. But he is a shy man. He is diligent but shy. And while he may have a mind for intrigue, yeah, he also has a body for combat. He could be the successor House Steve has been waiting for. But if he's not careful, he could drench this house into obscurity. And with a new Lord in the Reach, new powers in the North... And far more Baratheons than we ever would have expected. We will call the episode here. Thank you guys so much for the support on the series so far. It's insane seeing that we're scanning about a thousand on each episode. I was never expecting to get anywhere near that. Please, if you do enjoy this series and you enjoy the effort I put in, please uh, subscribe. I'm going to be doing so many more series uh, after this one. And including this one, obviously, this series I'm hoping will go a long time. And uh, if you enjoy my storytelling, let me know and I'll be uh, doing more series like this alongside this one. But for this week, we'll be calling it there. And I can't wait to see you guys next week for more House Steed.